Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to set up the SAS Planet boilerplate so you can get started in under 10 minutes. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up a Stripe, Discord, and Planet Scale account, as well as have an email provider set up. It is important they have the SMTP details for your email account so you may send emails. The first thing you're going to want to do is clone the GitHub repo and open it with Visual Studio. You can do this by running git clone and then with the URL you're provided upon purchase. In order to install all the dependencies, head over to your Visual Studio, open the terminal, and run npm install. This will generate all the necessary dependencies so your project may run. Before you run your project in development mode, you need to set up the database URL, the next auth secret, and the next auth URL. When in development slash testing on your local machine, set this to your local host. When you then push it to be deployed for production, set the next auth URL as well as the production URL to your production domain. In order to get the database URL using PlanetScale, head over to your PlanetScale account, click on the database, click connect, and then copy this line here. Now I have already done this. Once that is done, you need to generate the next auth secret, which needs to be a random string of hex characters. I use the website brownsterling.com forward slash tools forward slash random dash hex to generate my next auth secret. Simply paste the secret here, and now you should be ready to run in development mode. To run in development mode on your local machine, type npm run dev. Head over to your browser and type in localhost for colon 3000. This is the boilerplate. Now, nothing is set up yet because we have to complete the setup steps. If you, we I'll provide a setup checklist, localhost 3000 forward slash underscore setup. So next thing we need to do is configure our email provider. So you will need to grab the SMTP details for your email provider and paste them here. Once your details are pasted, you will then need to set up a Discord application if you would like to authenticate with Discord. Head over to the Discord developer dashboard and click on new application. Put a name and accept the terms of service. Then head over to OAuth2, copy the client ID, and then copy and then copy the client secret. Make sure you copy it correctly. After that, you need to define the redirects. In the documentation, we lay out all the redirects you need to define. After you set up your Discord account, you will need to set up your Stripe keys. Head over to the Stripe Developer Dashboard and copy and paste your keys. In order to receive updates from Stripe when a client purchases or fails to pay an invoice, you need to set up a webhook. To do this, click on Add Endpoint. Type in your production URL. So for instance, if your production URL was example.com, type in HTTPS example.com forward slash API forward slash stripe, forward slash stripe webhook. You want to listen to all events. Click add endpoint and reveal the signing secret and put the signing secret equal to the stripe webhook. So stripe webhook equals your signing secret. You may skip this step until you have a production URL, but you will not be able to receive Stripe events until you have this webhook signing secret and a webhook setup. So now that you have that set up, you can head back to the browser where your application is running, and you should now. So you can sign in with Discord on our test application. You will be able to use the user dashboard. To access the admin dashboard, type in whatever URL you're using. So if you're on test, 
if you're testing in development, you'll use localhost 3000 forward slash admin. Now this account does not have admin access. If you do not have an account with admin access, head over to localhost 3000 forward slash underscore setup, and you may select a user to grant admin access to. Now it is important that once you release for production, you remove the underscore setup page. So you will delete this page when you are in production because it has the ability to grant admin access. So this is the admin panel. Here you can see all your users, subscriptions, and monthly recurring revenue. Now this is all test data. Uh, as you see here, it will warn you if you're using um, an improper email account or in test mode. Now I do have do not have my password set up in the uh, environment, so that's why it's giving me this error. But um, if I did, this error would not be here. So here you can manage all your users. You can manage subscriptions. You can manage pricing. And you can even add and create pricing plans from the admin dashboard without ever having to go to Stripe as well as add onboarding questions. So as you see here, we have two onboarding questions and we can remove them. Let's say we don't want the singer question. We can remove that and we can even add onboarding questions. So this is how you set up a simple boilerplate using SAS Planet. Any questions, you may join our Discord or send us an email at support at sasplanet.org. Thank you for watching.